Hello and welcome to the first instalment of Kung Fu Science. Um, I get very excited about science and so we thought let's share that excitement and hopefully you might be able to learn something. Um, generally I'm going to just sit here possibly once a week and talk about the exciting things I've read in the world of science in the previous week and uh, hopefully dispel some myths by woo merchants like homeopaths and creationists and such. Um, if you are a woo merchant, you're more than welcome to use the comments to debate with me. Um, I might end up ignoring some, uh, I'm a busy man, but uh, if there are any common themes, I might also post some videos to refute said claims. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, exciting things I've read this week included fossilised spiders, which, uh, if memory serves, maybe 376 million years old, could be wrong on that. But another important thing, uh, like all good scientists, not that I am one, there will be uh, references to everything I talk about in the uh, um, side notes. So you can actually make sure that what I say is correct, um, which um, is also important. You can also learn a little bit more, um, because we're only going with my memory here, which, let's face it, like most memories, isn't as good as we'd like to think. So yeah, fossilised spiders, they were good, um, in that you, spiders, uh, the end of the abdomen, have uh, special adaptions for spinning webs. Uh, the silk that they weave is awesome because it can uh, do webs, as I'm sure you all know, it can wrap up prey, it can be involved in egg production and such, and um, they found some old fossilised spiders which help uh, look at how uh, the silk came along. And um, these basically show that silk initially probably wasn't to do with spinning webs, but was more maybe about wrapping up prey, producing eggs and things, and uh, I thought that was awesome. So please check out the link and find out about fossilised spiders. And also there's another bit, a great article in Nature about 15 gems of recent evidence for evolution, uh, including such fantastic finds as the Epidexipteryx, I hope I pronounced that right, which was a feather dinosaur, which used feathers for display, uh, the Tictilic, um, everyone's favourite tetrapod, and um, I've forgotten the other 13, but they're awesome. So, that's it for this week. Um, hopefully this will become popular and I'll have some viewers. Otherwise it might just be you and me, Tom.